thanks for joining me today. We're gonna be learning about famotidine or Pepsid and its role as a treatment for allergic reactions and anaphylaxis. Come on, let's learn. Hello and welcome back to White Line Medicine. Thank you so much for joining me again here on the series that I'm doing on allergic reactions and anaphylaxis. So far, we've covered a whole lot about the pathophysiology and all the pharmacology, and this is actually the last video in this series as we're covering famotidine. Famotidine is a little bit newer medication to the treatment protocols for allergic reactions and anaphylaxis, and it's something that a lot of services and hospitals have started picking up and using because it's so good at what it does. You might be more familiar with famotidine by its common name. That's Pepsid. Now, a lot of people are familiar with Pepsid and taking it for an upset stomach or anything like that, but we're gonna be talking about the IV version. Now, when given IV, famotidine acts much quicker, and so it's much better in a case such as allergic reactions and anaphylaxis. But we're gonna go over exactly how it works. But like we've done before, before we dive into how it works exactly, let's first see exactly how it's given and dosing and so forth. Famotidine is typically carried in two different ways. One of which is 20 milligrams in a 50 milliliter bag that's then hung as an IV drip, or 20 milligrams in a two milliliter vial that can be directly pushed IV. Standard dosing for famotidine is typically 20 milligrams for an adult patient or 0.5 milligrams per kilogram up to the max dose of 20 milligrams for the pediatric patients. Now, some protocols will double these doses up to a max dose of 40 milligrams depending on the patient's signs and symptoms. After administration, the onset of action is fairly rapid for famotidine and you see its peak effects typically in about 30 minutes. This typically then lasts around 10 to 12 hours after given IV. Some studies have even shown that they suppress the secretions by the GI system up to 70% for as much as 24 hours. All right, so how does it work? Simply put, famotidine is a type of antihistamine specifically working on the H2 receptors, which if you remember back to our previous videos, our H2 receptors are located primarily throughout our GI system. Now by blocking these receptors, it's blocking histamine's effect on them and thereby reducing GI motility and increased gastric mucus production. By blocking these things, it's thereby reducing our nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. So not only are you reducing the patient's nausea and vomiting, thereby making them way more comfortable, but you're also reducing the risk of aspiration if the patient did vomit. Especially in case like anaphylaxis, the risk of aspiration during vomiting is pretty high and that would potentially further complicate the situation at hand and thereby reducing the patient's likelihood of a good outcome or at minimum, lengthening the amount of time that it takes them to recover. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video and for this series on allergic reactions and anaphylaxis. Make sure you're liking and subscribing right down below and leave a comment if there's something specific you wanna learn about next. As always, thank you so much for coming along and learning with me here today at White Line Medicine.